Alright guys, we're back on Parque Fernando to continue the grind for one of the four trophies I still need to find on this reserve. These trophies are the Leucistic and the Melanistic Bakery, the Great Diamond Puma and the Melanistic Black Book. These are all trophies that I've wanted for a while, so now it's time to start the proper grind and finally get them. At the moment, we are 84 kills into the Black Book grind. And there we have the first Diamond Potential of the grind. 122 to 140 level 5 black book. It ain't a guaranteed diamond by any means, the estimate doesn't tell us much, but the rack looks very decent, so I would say there is a really high chance he makes it. We spot this guy on this lake, which is one of the best locations on Parque Fernando. As you can see, there are many herds over the right side of the lake, so this is a very decent spot to find black book. Alright, on this occasion I wanna drop this guy using the muzzle loader, so we need to be within 100 meters, which is inside the effective range. I'ma use the color. They are coming in, that's good. 180, still a bit too far. 165 now, so as he keeps getting closer, I'ma quickly show you my setup. I spent a couple days placing many tents and tripods, and as you can see I have most of them placed along the north and the northeastern coast, which are normally the areas with a higher population density where it is easy to find big herds. This grind is probably one of the toughest I've ever done, the night time makes it quite complicated, it is of course not nearly as challenging as the Hirschfeld and Red Deer grind, but it can be comparable to the moose grind on Medved which wasn't the easiest. Fortunately, we're still on an early stage of the grind, so the setup is not completely optimized yet. There's still plenty of room for improvement and I'm sure that the kills per hour are gonna keep increasing once I figure the absolute best position for each tent and tripod. For example, in the last 60 minutes I killed 31 males, which ain't too bad but could be better, so I would say that a reasonable goal would be to kill 40 per hour. Ok, now he's broadside. We have a good chance to drop it here. Let's see... Alright, he's gonna walk a bit and then probably gonna stop again. We are almost at 120. Still not inside the ideal range, I mean the max zeroing distance for the round balls is 100 meters, so we're gonna have to aim a bit higher. Except that he's walking away now, so I'm alert him. Hopefully he'll turn around and give us a bros eye shot. Alright, let's see. He is down. This may be the first diamond of the grind, just gonna take him a few pictures. And now let's see how big it is. 138.28 diamond, the first diamond of the grind. It is also almost the max weight, 50.87 kgs, the max weight is 51 kgs. And surprisingly, a single long was enough to drop him on the spot. We didn't hit both longs for some reason. That's a big male, isn't it? 129 to 147, that is likely the second diamond of the grind. He's alert right now, but I wouldn't say that is a problem since we are quite far from him. And actually I spread this guy like 5 minutes ago, fleeing over there right after I shot another male right here on the zone. You know, I shot the other male before I saw this guy, so it was too late when I realized there was also a level 5 on the same zone. And in fact this lake is not too far from where we found the first diamond a couple hundred kills ago. It is right above that other lake on the Lago Bebe region, so it is a very decent location which is full of herds over the right side. As you can see there are plenty of them, and more importantly plenty of males, so this is one of the best locations to hunt on Parque Fernando to hunt Black Buck and certainly one of the most important spots on this grind. I don't know exactly how many males I've killed here already, but probably close to 30. It was just a matter of time for a level 5 to spawn here. We cannot be sure if this one will be diamond, but the estimate is quite massive. I must say it probably will make it, but I would be really surprised if it is as big as the first one, you know, that one was almost a max weight, and it is quite hard to come across diamonds with such size, so this one is probably not gonna be as big, but I will be happy if it just makes it. Level 5 
Let's see how big it is. Hopefully it will be big enough. As I said, I don't think it's gonna be as big as first diamond. I don't think it's gonna score as high, but I'll be happy if it scores above the diamond requirement. One thirty-three point twenty-four diamond, barely diamond. We hit a single long in the stomach. We were literally one centimeter away from messing it up. Really bad shot, I have to say. Luckily, it barely clipped the long. So we have the second diamond of the grind after 217 harvests. Alright guys, we're 459 kills into the grind, the last couple runs have been fairly decent. I've been harvesting around 35 miles per hour, which is an average that should make it possible to reach 1000 kills in just a few more days. And by the time we reach that point, I would expect to have at least one or two rares on the pack. I mean, we still haven't gotten any, and the likelihood of getting a melanistic or a leucistic after a thousand kills is rather high. I would certainly expect to see a rare appear soon, but as long as the diamonds keep spawning, we'll happily wait for that melanistic. And actually, there's the third diamond potential of the grind. The third level 5. It has an estimate of 130 to 147, and while it doesn't guarantee the diamond score, it certainly gives it a really high chance to make it. You know, I would be really surprised if it rolls, so we're gonna get off the tripod, and we're gonna go around the lake to get close to the sky, because on this occasion I wanna use the crossbow. It should be relatively easy to get inside the ideal range to use it, which is 50 meters. Although this species, the black pocky is one of the hardest to approach, they have really good vision and overall really sharp senses. It can be a real pain to get close to them since especially the big ones are able to detect every single movement once you are below 60 meters. We are getting close. Pretty much at 130 meters away. He is walking to the left now as we get close to 100. Atenif. Gotta be careful. Okay, now alert, gotta go prone. Fortunately, he's calm again, but walking away now, so gonna use the collar to see if we can make him stop. Well, that didn't work, but luckily he didn't go too far and he's drinking over there. He's still there, almost 50 meters away, already at a pretty decent distance to use the crossbow. So let's go for it, let's zero for 50. And let's go for it, double long right there, he's at Tenif. Now alert. And he's down. Let's see if this guy is actually the third diamond of the grind. 133.37 diamond, similar score to the last one, not too big. We hit the right lung, the liver and the stomach and even the intestines on what is the third diamond of the grind. Label 5, Faxis Tier. Estimate of 196 to 237, it's hard to know if it is gonna be a diamond. But it actually ain't too common for these guys to troll, so I would say there is a really high chance he makes it. You'd be really cool if he does, it's been quite a while since my last time on Axis, probably like a year or so. And I'm actually a fan of how they look, I gotta say, they look impressive, the diamond racks are massive, and even though they are not the most popular species, I really think they are one of the best looking diamonds. Anyway, on this occasion I wanna drop this guy with the muscle loader. Where is he now though? All right there, behind a tree. He ain't moving, so he didn't respond to the calls. Well, actually he's not that far, so it won't matter as much. We just need to aim a bit higher, because the max hearing distance for this ammo is 100 meters. Just a bit. He is down. Two twenty-eight point seventy-seven diamond, big diamond. We hit a single long in the thoracic vertebrae, a bit too high. Clearly not the best shot, but luckily it was good enough. That's a monster. One seventy-seven to one ninety-six. The diamond score is around one sixty-seven. So these guys guarantee a huge diamond and perhaps the biggest rare buffalo I've ever found.
Right now we're on this lake down here, which is a fantastic hotspot to hunt war buffalo and black buck. As you can see it is full of them, there are multiple zones over the right side of the lake, making it one of the best locations either for server hopping or single player grinding. Ok, on this occasion I wanna drop this guy using the 470. It is one of the best rifles you can use against any class 9 species and one of my favorite weapons to hit the heart. Getting closer. And he's alert. The wind is really bad so it won't be possible to get super close but a hundred meters should be close enough to be accurate with the reflex sight. The plan is to hit the heart so we need to be a bit closer than normal. 102 Alright, he's alarmed. And that was a hard shot. Let's see how big it is. I really wanna see the score because the estimate was absolutely insane. I mean, the bottom estimate of this guy was already on pair with my biggest diamond. It was also a 177. 178.68, what a monster. We hit the heart, the liver, and the stomach on what is officially my biggest war buffalo ever.